Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature a very special guitar. This was featured in the last live stream. Now this is from Ernie Ball Music Man uh, from the fall of 2022. This is the BFR Ball Family Reserve Saber HT.
If you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel and press the bell for notification of future videos and follow and be part of Patreon to support this channel. Would appreciate it. I want to thank uh, Ben Mar from uh, Sweetie for passing me his guitar for review. This is a very interesting guitar. You know, I'm I'm so blessed to be able to play on this. Our, you know, aesthetically, it's like whoa. You know, it's like pretty beautiful. When I first opened it up. Uh, from that um, lovely mono case that you know that you see in the in, in the intro, I was like, "Whoa, what is this?" It's not. It's like, oh man, it's a it's a piece of art basically. So let's go through the appointments. Uh, it's all really exotic, so I'm gonna read a little bit if you don't mind. So the body is made of black lima. This is black lima. And this is expensive wood, all right? and it's in high gloss polyester finish. All right. So it's very nicely done. Yep. And then you have uh, this uh, body binding that is made of natural wood. You have all this binding. Yeah, really nicely done, you know, it's artistically done. And this finish is called Duello, right? You also have a roasted flame maple neck. Really nice flame, right? Your high polyester, high gloss polyester finish. And a roasted maple fretboard, really nice, all right? So this has a flame to you, and then you have the wood binding on the side. <coughs> Now, the inlays, these are very special. So this block inlays or fret markers is made of Abalone Atlante block inlay. All right, so the, ma the material is called Abalone, right? Atlante, yeah. Really nice, like a jade kind of finish. Really interesting, you know. I'm, I'm like, really captivated by these block inlays. You have their proprietary nut with a Net width of 42.5. Yeah, it's a little bit wider than uh, than usual. So when I was when I first touched it, you know, yeah, it's a bit wider, but it's okay. You know, you get used to it. My my power ID is like 43. You also have the Scalar MD IND uh, locking tuners in black. Really nice, All right? Now for the body, you have a five-way pickup selector, one volume and one tone. The volume has a pull and push uh, function for you to engage uh, a 20 dB plus volume boost for these uh, two humbuckers. And um, I, I believe these are the same that you'll find on these in the Luke, um, the latest Luke uh, models. So push and you have a 20 dB plus, a plus 20 dB uh, boost. Then for these pickups, these pickups are really interesting. So these pickups are the HH2 Music Man HT Sabre Humbuckers. These are heat treated as far as HT. Uh, very interesting pickups. Um, all right, so this this whole guitar doesn't sound as bright as what I thought it would be. Um, even for a humbucker, this has a little bit of a dark sounding uh, feel to it, you know, and I am playing uh, with my normal M settings, so this has a little bit of a, um, of well, less of a high frequency response, but it's still there, you know, if you're going for the bridge humbucker, it still cuts through. And the pickup selector, that's a whole different ball game, right? You have a very um, diverse uh, palette, right, for your pickups. Now, I have to dive in for the pickups configuration for the, uh, for our fifth position, you have just the neck humbucker. On the fourth, you have these two where you split the neck as well as the bridge. So this nearest to each other, these two will go into a parallel switching. And for the third position, you have two humbuckers together in parallel. And then on the second, you have uh, the two outmost single call for the bridge as well as for the neck in parallel switching. And then the last one will be the first uh, position where you have just the bridge humbucker. Very interesting, you can have a, 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 a no, different sounds. Um, mind you, the uh, fourth position will have a drop in volume. So because you're splitting both coils, both single coils. And, but surprisingly, on the second position, even though we're splitting, but we're at opposite end, the further end, it was okay, you know, it, there wasn't that much of a volume drop. This uh, tremolo system is called the Music Man Modern Tremolo with crescent cover and vintage bent steel saddles. 
So this is very uh, different from the ones on my Luke as, as well as the Cutlass that I just reviewed. This has this crescent cover on top, which is really nice. Uh, nice touch to it. You know, you can rest your palm on it. You know, uh, to adjust the uh, intonation, you know, bringing the saddles back and forth, there is a couple of holes here, six holes for you to insert your Allen key. Now this time it's an Allen key, not a fluid screwdriver. And you can adjust the intonation from there. At the bottom of this um, whole tremolo arm, there is a pad for both sides so you don't uh, damage the uh, lima or your body finish. Very interesting. So the back plate is here. Uh, you can adjust your spring tensions and everything. And there is a battery compartment for 9 volt for your, uh, what you call it, your 20 dB boost, you know, your preamp. Mm -hmm. Controls here. And you have a very nice, um, yeah, neck plate cover. So all in all, it, it, there is a very sharp contrast in gold as well as in black as opposed to the black finish, you know, some of the black finishes, you have like gold or gold colored um, screws, you know, gold colored two point here, really nicely done. Yeah, uh, the guitar is like really well um, crafted, you know, stays in tune like crazy. This is one of, one of the most um, in tune guitars that I played for a long time, even though I was doing a lot of bendings and, and with my tremolo arm, but once I got it set up, it was like spot on, like that, you know, I, I didn't even do anything. I, I didn't have to tune occasionally, no, it just stayed in tune. That was like really amazing. This just freaked my mind out. Uh, I know it could be a combination of the rocking tuners, the nut, the way it's been set up. After all, this is a BFR. So this is like, you know, the top, the top, top of the range of all Music Man Ernie Ball guitars. And henceforth, the uh, the cost of this guitar. So it is cost a hefty sum, um, but I guess you're paying for um, the wood, you know, the the wood, the woodmanship, you know, the craftsmanship or rather, you know, and uh, the way it looks, yeah, you know, all these materials and all that. Now the neck is really easy to play with a 10 inch fret radius. Now these are jumbo frets. I don't know whether these are stainless steel. It could be for the price that you're paying. I don't know. It wasn't stated at all. Um, I like the flame in the back. This is like. Cool. Right, let me know what do you think about this guitar and leave your comments in the comment section down below. Now again, this is a BFR, Ball Family Reserve, so it's it's right up there. Guitar is available in Sweden, Singapore, so if you're Singapore, just pop on down and give this a try. Um, cool. I've been wanting to try a BFR for a long time because I don't have the funds. You know, and at one time, um, these BFRs were quite hard to find in Singapore. I'm so blessed to be able to play on one. So let me know what you think about this guitar and leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. All right, subscribe to this channel, press that bell for notification of future videos that follow and be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for their wonderful love, the support, and their friendship above all things else. Thank you so much, guys. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Ciao.